All right, welcome back for another video. Today, what we're gonna talk about or what we're gonna cover is going to be the best tier list you're going to see for Anime Vanguard's update 0.5. So I've been playing the game for 48 hours now. I didn't want to make an update or sorry, a tier list very early on like how other people, YouTubers do it because I wanted to wait to actually test out the units, to let other people test out the units, to hear other people's um, opinions on the units, because only that way will I be able to actually give you guys an unbiased and unrushed opinion for the tier list, because I don't want people to think, oh, this unit's good, and I haven't even tested it out yet, or I haven't even seen what it has done, or what it can do. So this is the best tier list out there, okay? In my opinion, in my opinion, okay? I just gotta say that right there, in my opinion. So without further ado, let's get this video started. If you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get this video started. All right, here is basically everything that we have right here. We have S, we have A, we have B, we have C, then we have support, and we have we have farm. So first and foremost, then Goku. Um, I think I'm just gonna put then Goku in support. I think his passives are pretty good. He does, I think he's a passive, not not passive, sorry, he ha his, his passives, is uh, more for a support unit. I think he is a very good support unit. Um, the, he has passives that buff burn damage. He has passives that increase damage, blah, 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 blah. He is also a very good damage unit, so I think I could put him at S. Um, but I think he's more a support unit because he does have passives that buff. Um, that's what other people have said. I don't have him yet, but I've seen his passive. Yeah, um, he does have a passive that makes enemies inflicted with his burn receive 25% more burn damage. So if you combine him with units like Obito, he's going to be very good. And also for the future, when there's going to be more uh, units that do burn, um, he will do more damage. Uh, he will be even more useful in the future because there's going to be new units in the future that are going to do burn. So he is going to be even better in the future, especially imagine when in the future they add somebody like Escanor and Escanor is going to be a burn unit. And then he will be meta again because he has um, support for burn. He, his passives have support for burn, which makes him very good. Then the best support right now is Haruka Rin. And Haruka Rin is just an insane unit. Um, you literally cannot beat some game modes without her. So get her, evolve her immediately. She's very good. She can make it so that your units are going to do so much more damage. Alucard is now overall the best unit in the game. I've seen some of his passives. His passives are very good. Um, he has full area of effect very early unlike other uh, units. Um, he is paid to win though because good luck getting him without spending that much gems. For context, um, this is our, a luck issue on a luck issue on my part. But let's be honest here, most of us will have a luck issue. Um, I have spent like over 220,000 gems. About to spend like... Um, about to spend 6,000 more and I will not get him, okay? So the reason why I'm spending 6,000 gems is because I've actually been on the hunt for Alucard for so long and I still haven't gotten him and I've spent so much gems already trying to get this unit and I still haven't ha ha I still haven't gotten him and um, there's people that have spent a million gems and still don't have him so the fact that there's people that have spent millions of gems and still don't have him I feel kind of I feel kind of like discouraged because I might never have him. I'm actually so salty. I don't want to put Alucard at the top of the tier list, but the reality is, um, Alucard is the current best unit in the game right now overall. Um, in good damage, good bleed, good support passives, he's insane. He's a very good unit. What can I say? Um, the problem is he is very pay to win because, again, the best way to get him is by spending Robux on gems. And then, you know, spending those gems on, on the banner to get him, hopefully. Unfortunately, um, yeah, Alucard is the best unit in the game. Unfortunately, for most of us, we won't get him. Now, Igris used to be the best unit in the game, without a doubt, um, before he got gutted. Before my boy got gutted, um, he used to be the best unit in the game, but now he's not. He lost so much, okay? He, he basically got... Um, rever he basically got turned into a myth, a mythic. Um, I wouldn't even. There's actually mythics that are better than him now, and it's insane because he's a secret. On top of this, um, if he got a nerf, why does Alucard not get a nerf? Alucard has broken passives, is broken. He's very OP, and the reason why is actually very simple because um, Alucard will make them a lot of money because people need to spend robux in order to get Alucard, and then for Igris. 
Well, Igris, you can get him just by farming the game. Now, yeah, they both they make money on both of these units, but they make even more money with Alucard, so they won't nerf him, even though he's very good, like he's the best unit right now in the game. They won't touch his damage or anything because people keep on spending gems on the on him buying Robux. I will buy Robux once I get my YouTube money. I'm gonna buy Robux to try and get him, and they're gonna make money off of me because he's a must-have unit. So he's never gonna get nerfed, and he will probably be on top of the meta for a while and expect future banner units to also be on top of the meta then we have um tengen which is actually better than igris now um tengen is basically a better igris from what i've heard so tengen has multi-hit early on um on top of having multi-hit early his um placement cost is actually super cheap so if i bring out tengen right now 1500 compared to 2000 um, his placement cost is much cheaper than Igris, and he does full, sorry, multi-hit earlier than Igris. So Igris only does multi-hit at his um, max upgrade. Tengen does multi-hit early on. Tengen does multi-hit very early, like I think around a few of his upgrades, a few of his upgrades, and he will already start doing multi-hit, which makes him a very powerful unit, even better than Igris now. Can you imagine him? By the way, he's not going to be the only unit that's better than Igris in this update. So let's keep going. And then now we have Obito. Obito is going to be at A, although he could be at S because of the buff um, that Rengoku can give him because he is another burn unit. But I'm more comfortably putting him at A. Then we're going to put um, the Sasuke at B. He's just not that good. Then Song Jin Wu is at S. He does... He pairs very well with Igris. Che, che Hin is going to be at S as well. Vegeta is going to be at S. Higher than Che Hin, in my opinion. He, he does have crazy DPS. He's also a shield breaker. He's very good. Akaza might actually be better than Igris. Now, the reason for this is because his damage can go up to 30,000. I have screenshots of this, and he is for placement. So, um, that's actually kind of crazy. So, Akaza, cheap, cheap, high damage, high DPS unit, easy to get. That's one of the reasons why I think he's higher than Igris. And also, he doesn't need... Song Jin Wu to do his full damage, right? He doesn't need another unit to get to his full potential, which is why he is over there. Naruto, I'm gonna put here. By the way, I'm just gonna put um, Obito at S because I think he's meta. Then I'm just gonna put Sasuke right here. I think Naruto is better than Sasuke though. And then for these units, the legendary units, we're gonna do this. Now, Bean is the best legendary. No, Agony, Agony is still the best legendary. Um, I might just put Agony down here, but Bean is probably the best damage legendary. Not the best damage, but a very good damage legendary because of his um, bleed. I'm not going to bother putting the other legendaries because the other legendaries are going to be at B. Then we have another farm unit right here. And then on top of that, we have farm units. My bad if I put them there. And then the rest are going to be C. Now, Blossom's literally a good support, so he's probably going to be... He's, she's basically a must-have in Act 4. That's why she's going to be there. And then also, Alligator is a good support as well. Um, a very good support. And then we have Sasuke. There's other legendaries that I haven't put here, I think. I think there's other legendaries that I might have missed. But those other units, um, the other legendaries are just going to be at B tier anyway. Anyways, this is um, the best tier list that you guys are probably going to see out there. Um, a lot of people put Rengoku at S. I don't think... Um, if, if you are going to look at damage, I think Rengoku is still going to be pretty good. Okay, just a word of warning. Um, I think we might have to change this a little bit. Because Akasa got nerfed, apparently. They are shadow nerfing these units like crazy. I don't know why they bother releasing these units. And then Shadow nerfed them immediately. Okay? They nerfed Akaza today. They also nerfed Rengoku today. And I believe they buffed Tengen because yesterday he wasn't that this good. Yesterday he was actually very bad. His damage was like terrible yesterday. And I think they buffed him. And now Akaza is actually just terrible. But I am not certain if this is true. So I will keep my tier list because I'm not so sure. They don't even have an update logs for the nerf. I was testing him out, him out earlier and he was fine. He wasn't that bad or he wasn't bad at all or anything. I think he was, he was doing a good amount of damage. Um, he could do more damage if I had um, the proper buffs on him. But he was doing proper damage when I tested him out. But I don't know what this nerf did to him or whatever it did to him if it's even real. But apparently he got nerfed. And if he did got nerfed, 
um, apparently is gonna be like bad like it's gonna like go down here or something like that I'm not too sure yet but yeah just a side note but he definitely doesn't do more damage than Obito doesn't do more damage than all these other no he might do more damage than Obito but he doesn't do more damage than Cha Hin, Cha, Cha Hin, Vegeta, Song Jin Woo. So if I was gonna put Ren Goku uh, uh, as a damage unit, he'll probably be right over here. Um, yeah, I think this is just the best unit out there. Um, some people will say that Akas is not that good. Akas is very good. I, there's this DPS rank I've seen floating around on Discord that actually shows that he has the in, an insane amount of damage. But yeah, um, this is pretty much the best tier list you're probably gonna see in this game. So I changed their, their ranking. So we have meta units right here at the top. These are all meta units. We have good units, we have beginner units, we have starter units right here. Then we've got the support and we have the farm. So yeah. Anyways, it's a sad day for me. I've spent so much gems since yesterday and I still haven't gotten my Igris. I have, if you would believe it, this many Akaza, like that many, not even a single shiny. Um, yeah, very unfortunate, but I did get Dead Eye Tengen, which is pretty good. Anyways, pray for me, guys. Hope I get Alucard soon. Uh, I really want to put Alucard in his own category, the don't get him category, because, bro, I'm so salty. I still don't have him. It's crazy. But yeah, anyways, yeah, this is probably the best tier list out there right now. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, by the way, Igris might still be better than Akasa in terms of just in, in terms of usefulness because of his full area of effect. But in terms of DPS, Akasa is better than Igris, which is why I'm kind of torn between them both. I'm quite, I'm very torn between them both, but I think Akasa is better overall. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you love me, please pray for me. Hope I get Alucard soon because. I'm tweaking out. I've been farming for so long to get him. I still don't have him. And yeah, hope hopefully I get him soon. That's gonna be it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.